Hello friends, my name is AJ and welcome back to the mini series in where I teach you how to code your very own Discord bot in Python. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to send an embed to a channel inside of your Discord server. And right now on the screen, I'm going to display kind of what an, in, an embed looks like. An embed usually has a title, it may also have a description, have some fields, and it basically just allows you to send a more customized message. And this is kind of reserved for bots as well as webhooks. Most users cannot actually send one themselves. So this is kind of something specialized to word bots in which I'm going to show you in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. Started. All right, so I'm in the same page that I was in the last video in terms of my code. And over here, we actually sent whenever somebody sent a message that was or that uh, was what is the version right over here, we sent these this message to the general channel, we sent the version is 1.0 in response. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to try and make this a little bit more um, we're going to pretty much do an embed instead of sending just a simple message the version of 1.0 We're going to be doing a customized embed So the first thing that we're actually going to do is we're going to kind of add some spaces Underneath where I created my general channel variable or where I stored my variable And the first thing that I need to do is I actually need to create a variable to represent the embed that I want to send then what we can do is when we create that particular embed variable, we can then edit it slightly, for example, add some fields to it, and then be able to send it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in embed as the name of my variable, or I'll just say my embed right over here. And I'm going to set this equal to discord.embed right over here. And you can see that there is an autocomplete function or an autocomplete um, for a specific embed object. So I'm going to click this over here. And now there is a constructor. So I'm going to do open parentheses. And the first one that I'm going to specify is going to be title. All right, everyone, sorry, my camera uh, just died. So I had to charge it. And now I am back. All right. So the main thing that I wanted to that I was talking about was adding the title now to my embed. And the title is going to be the main part which goes on the top of the embed that we send over to the discord channel. <clears throat> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in title equals and then here is where we're actually going to put in our title for the embed. So I'm going to say here um, current version. I'm going to let that be my title. And now another thing that I can do is I can add a description right over here and that is going to be D-E-S-C and then actually it's completely spelled out description right over here. And now what I want to do is I'm going to say equals again, and then I'm also going to put a string over here. And the string that I'm going to use, I'm just going to say version 1.0, or maybe the bot is in version 1.0. So the bot is in version 1.0. All right, so now I've included my title and I have included my description. Now the next thing I need to do is I actually need to include a color code for the sidebar of my actual embed. So over here, what I want to do is I can simply type in color equals, and now I can type in my color. So in this case, I'm going to type in a, a green color by typing in um, 0x00ff00, just like that. And this is a hexadecimal code uh, for RGB. So the first two letters are for R, the first two characters are for the R, are red and the second two are for green and then the um, the last two are for blue and you can use this type of you can use this type of hexadecimal number uh, by simply taking in any sort of color that you want you don't have to do a specific only red only green only blue you can really do any color that you want as long as it is in hexadecimal and you could pretty much get hex colors anywhere uh, simply just search it maybe hex color tool or you can just open up any sort of website and you should automatically get those colors especially if you already know what color you want, you can easily match using like an eyedropper tool to easily get your color. And even if it's an RGB, you can always convert RGB to hexadecimal. All right, so now that I've included my color code, I pretty much completed my constructor for my embed. But now what I want to do is I want to add a few fields to my embed. So I'm going to say my embed dot, 
And then you can see these are some of my parameters or some of the uh, methods that I can run on my object. I have add field, I have author, which means I can set the author. I have something like footer, like so I can set my footer right over here. I can set my image, I can set footer, I can send a thumbnail. There's so many different things that I can do with an embed. But first what I'm going to do is I'm going to say add field right over here. And in your, in your main parentheses, you can see that you have a name here and then you have a value and then you have inline, just like that. These are the three main parameters that it takes in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in name equals, and this is the name of my field. So I will just say version code, just like that. And then I will do my next one, which is going to be value. And I can set my value right over here, value equals to version 1.0.0, for example. And let's say I want to add another field. So the time that this update was released, I can say my embed.add field. And then I can follow the exact same uh, standard. And actually, one thing I do want to do here is I also want to add inline. And you can see that what inline allows you to do is it pretty much just specifies um, whether the field should be displayed inline or whether it should be in a new one. I'm going to say this is going to be equal to false for the example of this tutorial. And then here, I'm going to say name. Uh, this, this here, I can set to uh, date released. And then I can put my value, let's say, to today's date, which is July 18th. So July 18th, 2020. And then maybe in line, I can also set to false for this tutorial. All right, so now I've added my field right over here. And now let's say I want to add a footer. I can say my embed.add underscore, or sorry, set underscore footer. So for some, it's set. So uh, you can see here that I have a text here and then I have an icon URL. So I can simply click set footer, open parentheses. So I can say text equals and then just say this is a sample footer. Let's just include that only. All right. So now that I have set all of my different parameters for my embed, now I need to send my embed to my general channel. So what I can do is just like here, I said await general channel on dot send, and then I put in the text I want to send. This time I want to send an embed. So how do I do that? Well, what I can do is I can simply take my text, I can delete it, and in its place, I can type in embed equals, just like that. Now you can see that it turns blue. So now I just say embed equals my embed, just like that. So now what this is going to do is it's going to create a new embed which has a title current version and a description. The bot is in version 1.0. It's going to save it and with this particular color that I inserted here. And now it's going to be saved into this embed variable or the my embed variable. Then I take this variable and I add two fields to it. I add the version code field, which is right over here, which has a value of version 1.0.0. I set in line to false. And then I also added a field for date released in which I put in the date for it to be released. And then the last thing is, is that I set the footer to say this is a sample footer. And then the last thing I can do is I can say my embed dot maybe just set author. And um, you can see over here that my first parameter that I need is going to be a uh, name. So I'll just say name equals and let's just say my name is AJG for this example. And then the last thing that we did is that we basically just said we are going to send a message to the general channel, but instead of putting in text inside of these parentheses, I said embed equals my embed. All right, so now that we've done all of this, I'm going to simply do command S to save my code. I'm going to go over to the top right and I'm going to press this run button right over here. All right. And now you can see that this is running. So if I hop over to Discord, you can see that Hello World was sent exactly now because it went online. Now, if I were to type in the exact message, what is the version, and I click enter, you can see that it sends an embed directly into my channel. You can see that it sends the author first, then it sends the title, then the description, and then my fields, which you can see are right over here. And then I have a sample footer. And the sidebar on the left hand side is the exact color that I specified in my color parameter over on uh, over here on line 25 in the constructor for the embed object when I said discord.embed. 
and I added this color parameter, and this color hex code was directly um, added onto my right side over here. So let's say I wanted to match like some sort of color, like over here, there is a, an, on a Mac at least, there is a color picker, or they call a digital color meter on Mac. So I can click enter, and then you can, let's see here, you can always highlight over a color that you may want, such as this, copy down the RGB, and then simply convert the RGB over to hexadecimal um, using an internet tool, which usually is actually on the front page of Google if you just search it up. And you can see over here, you can do one, for example, for this green, for this yellow. So if you did want to match a color in Mac, this is just kind of a side, side note. You can use the co digital color meter to do so. And it's actually very, very cool that it is built into uh, Mac. Now, I'm not sure on the Windows side if, if there is necessarily the same thing, but I do know on the Mac, on, uh, on the um, Mac computers, Mac OS is automatically built in. All right, everyone, this is a very, very uh, short video, but I wanted to pretty much show you how to send these embeds so that later on we may be able to do some more advanced things with them. And also embeds are just something that are really cool and unique to WordBots because you're not necessarily able to send embeds directly uh, using a kind of, or using your own profile. You either need a bot to do it or you need a webhook to do it. And webhooks are not necessarily, we're not going over that, we're going over bots but it is definitely something that many people who are creating their own bots and many popular bots that exist on Discord, they all use embeds to kind of make the message that they send a little bit more unique. In this video, very simple video, I taught you how kind of to do all of this. Now, there are a few other things which I did not go over which you can do with embeds, such as adding images and all of that stuff, but this is how to just send a sample text message using kind of using the embeds. All right, everyone, if you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe for more content. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them. And as always, thanks for watching.